Hi there. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody for the help and support and advice that have provided in relation to my um, fly cutting problem. Now, suggestions have ranged from using my biggest um, end mill. Uh, now, that my biggest end mill is only sort of 16 millimetres in diameter, and I'm really looking for sort of 22. Um, but I suppose that could get me part of the way. Another one was uh, suggesting round file, um, which I guess is a pretty good option. Um, I've not got a round file, but um, it might be an option I go with. Um, another option was to look at um, a boring head. Um, I, know, I don't know anything about boring heads, but I'm guessing that the cost of those might be a little bit of a limiting factor. Um, another one was to replace the set screws. Now, I, I think uh, that the set screws are so small um, that the, the threads on the set screw and I think on the uh, cutter, cutting head uh, have gone. I mean the quality is very very dubious. Um, so what I've decided to do, and this may not work, is uh, sort of like a quick fix using epoxy resin. So um, I've actually fixed the cutter to the right diameter, um, sort of using this uh, 7 8 piece of mild steel and um, I've just put a load of epoxy resin on it so uh, that needs to set overnight uh, whether it works or not I don't know but it's worth a try and in the meantime I can make the other components so most of that will be on the lathe so let's see how we get on so the first thing is to make the pins to hold in the knurls so um, this is a quarter inch silver steel and the first thing to do is to uh, put an M6 thread on here. Um, now a quarter of an inch equates to I think 6.35 millimetres so this needs to be reduced down by 0.35 millimetres um, so effectively I need to cut 0.175 millimetres. Now I've already set the depth um, of my cut using the depth stop. Um, so let's see how we get on. Six point oh two, that'll do. I love this die holder I made. So this is cutting the thread to an M six. Okay, so I've just put the pin in this Stevenson's collet block and I'm using this slitting saw just to cut a one point five millimeter slot for the screwdriver. Four fifty RPM. Okay, so that's one of the steel pins made to hold the uh, knurling wheel and uh, obviously I need to make another one. The dimensions on the drawing just seem totally wrong so I've actually made that to fit the arm um, probably as you can see there and uh, that will need to be hardened uh, before putting it uh, into the arm so I'll uh, get on make the other one and also make the pins 
to hold the arm in the actual body. So that's the uh, knurling wheels complete. Well the epoxy resin is set on the fly cutter. Whether it will uh, sort of fix it or not I don't know. Um, so the idea will be to uh, create this arc here or cut away this arc. Now I've never used a fly cutter before so I'm sort of guessing that I'll sort of do it five thou at a time and just nibble away and then go down another five thou and keep on nibbling away. So uh, let's see uh, how we get on. So I've centered up the x-axis and uh, the fly cutter's just above the arc so that proves that I'm, I'm sort of on centre. So I'll back off the y-axis and uh, start cutting. So with the radius being um, around about 22 millimetres, I think the speed needs to be set at around 500. So like I say, I've never done this before, so um, it should be interesting. I've just marked that to zero on the Y axis. So I'll back it off now and we'll move down 5 thou and try again. Okay, so it's working very well, is this? So I'll continue, I'll get back to you. Well, I must say that worked out extremely well. Um, very symmetrical. Um, really happy. And uh, epoxy resin saved the day, I think. So, now I need to uh, make the rocker to fit in here. And they need to be a quarter of an inch in height. So I'm just going to use this slitting saw. Using very light cuts I'll use the slitting saw to uh, cut the rocker off. Perfect. And I've just finished cutting this threaded rod. This is a quarter inch BSF. Well we're pretty much on the home straight now. I mean everything's done apart from the Tommy bar and the clamp nut and the thrust washer. So uh, that's the next stage and hopefully we can then assemble it and try it out. So this is a piece of mild steel uh, which is one inch in diameter and this will be used for the clamp nut. So it's just a matter of turning uh, this piece down to about uh, half an inch in diameter, um, finishing off the other end and drilling and tapping a quarter inch BSF. Well there's a heck of a lot of material to be removed from this so this is going to take me a long time. Part 
cutting off the brass washer. Okay, so it's all assembled and now it's uh, time to give it a try. Now I've just noticed that um, the Tommy bar can actually catch this cover if it's too close. So I might have to uh, rethink that. Uh, but anyway, um, we'll give it a bash. So uh, it'll be 100 RPM or so I think. Well, that's 160. It reckons do it for about 10 seconds. We'll... Yeah, yeah. Let's see what we've got. Hey! It works! Hi there, well that was an exciting little project. Um, so what did I find out? Well, uh, first of all, the um, plans for the um, pins to hold the knurling wheels, um, the dimensions were totally wrong, so I ended up just making them to fit. Um, also, the, the thread here that goes through the, the bolt, um, it hits the bottom of the Tommy bar if the Tommy bar goes through um, so what I ended up doing was cutting the Tommy bar in two and uh, using some Loctite to, to fix it and um, keep the hole free so the thread can actually come through there a little bit and that allows this to close down to around about 5, um, 30 seconds of an inch um, which is quite small and the maximum size you can go to is just over an inch. Um, now, what have I learned? Well, the, the first thing was uh, many thanks to uh, Lindsay Fogg who uh, commented on my hex bolt video uh, regarding parting and she um, suggested that I touched up the cutter with a diamond file and uh, I did and it's the first time I've had a successful parting off on this lathe so you know I really do appreciate that advice. Um, also, the die holder I made in one of the videos worked, worked like a dream, so I'm really satisfied with that uh, particular piece of equipment. Um, also, the slitting saw. I mean, the slitting saw I originally bought to uh, cut um, these bits um, to hold where the knurling wheels go, um, but I also used it for the rocker. And it's, it's a really um, good piece of kit, really and not overly expensive. Um, oh, also don't give up on broken tools. Um, the epoxy resin worked like a tree and I suppose in hindsight uh, I could have used something like Loctite as well. Um, so, but anyway, thanks for everybody who commented on that to uh, help me uh, sort of address that particular problem. So, all in all, um, it was a fantastic project to uh, create, um, well, to practice my machining skills. Um, so it got me into all areas that I've never tried before. And uh, to be honest, the result is absolutely fantastic. I hope you like it.